Hi, Helen. Hi there. Thanks so much for joining me to, to talk about this amazing new venture called the Integrated Care Academy. Can I start by inviting you to introduce yourself, please? Hi, yes. So I'm Professor Helen Langton. Uh, I'm the Vice Chancellor and CEO of the University of Suffolk. What a role. Um, and how did you come by that role, by the way, just out of interest? Um, it's a long story, but I'm a nurse by background uh, and uh, started in nursing in a clinical nursing career, then went into teaching nursing, uh, which wasn't in universities back in the day, but is now moved into the university sector and uh, carried on from there and ended up as a vice chancellor. I'm the, fir the UK's first children's nurse to be a vice chancellor. Fascinating. Oh, that's really interesting. Thank you, Helen. OK, so I've got a couple of questions and then we might sort of, sort of mix up. Uh, a few other things within them. And the first one's an obvious one, really. So why are you so passionately involved in this unique venture? Yes, thank you. And I am very passionately involved in it. I think some of it stems from what I've just said. I'm a nurse by background and once a nurse, always a nurse. Uh, and I'm passionate about making sure that as nurses and in education, we can support population health to be the best that it can be. Um, and we all know that there's challenges with the health of the population. Um, COVID has, has exacerbated that, but uh, there's, there's big health challenges for us as a society. Um, and I believe that both individually, but particularly collectively and together, we can do something that is greater than the sum of the parts and really enable us to make a difference to the health of our population. Um, and the university has a role to play in that. We're not just uh, academics sitting in our ivory tower. At the University of Suffolk, about a third of my students are studying on health and social care and well-being courses. That's a huge number of students. So it's a big part of what we do at the university. But we're also there for current employees in the NHS, in the social care system, across well-being, um, for their ongoing education. We're there for research. Uh, we're there for innovation. So we're really keen and passionate to make sure that we contribute to helping our system be the best it can be to support the health of our population. Thank you. Uh, something that comes to mind is you could have, as a university, uh, driven ahead with this on your own, but you've chosen to do it in partnership. Why, why that? Um, again, I think it's partly a personal reason and partly a, a, a wider professional reason. Um, I think because, again, my background, I'm used to um, working in partnership with patients, uh, with their families as a children's nurse. Um, and I've learned over the years that actually, if you listen to what people really need, you're much more likely to get it right and make a difference than if you think you know all the answers yourself and just go ahead and, and get on with it. So um, much of my working life has been about um, trying to listen to service users in particular uh, and hear from them uh, as to how do we make a difference. If you then extrapolate that out to education, um, in my role in universities, I've always uh, encouraged and embraced other people to come in and share with our students what it's like either to be um, a professional in NHS social care, what it's like to be a patient, what it's like to be a client, um, because I believe that our students benefit from hearing a wide variety of views and it makes you a better nurse, radiographer, paramedic, social worker, whatever it is. So um, that's been part of what I've uh, done for a long time. Um, and I think as a university, therefore, it's not right for us just to set up an integrated care academy. And it, it's an anathema with the whole word integrated. You know, here we are talking about integrated care. How can you be running an integrated care academy if you don't integrate with the system more widely. So it's a bit of a no brainer, really. Quite right. Thank you. That's, that, that passion's coming through. Um, so Helen, the, the, the second obvious question is, so how, uh, how, who will benefit? Um, and it's is then the whys, the whens, the where's, the hows, you know, uh, um, how would you describe that answer and over time will it will it be different 
Yes, and over time is is absolutely the key here. Um, we the the academy that we're setting up um, is working very closely with the integrated care system for Suffolk and North East Essex, and I think the initial beneficiaries need to be the uh, the people who live in Suffolk and North East Essex and the people who work in health and social care and well-being in its broadest sense uh, across Suffolk and North East Essex. Um, so our initial focus has to be on getting it right for our local people. Um, and we've had to, um, it would be very easy for the Integrated Care Academy to grow like Topsy and actually become unfocused. So we're really clear that we've got three clear areas of work and they align to what the integrated care system is keen to, to pursue. So mental health, and we know that mental health is a big issue across all age ranges, you know, children, young people, adults, uh, elderly people, um, and COVID has made that worse. So mental health is absolutely one area where we wish to focus on. Um, end of life care, again, across the whole age span. Um, you know, it's really important that as we get to the end of our life, whether that's long or short, um, that we give people the best experience and not just the people who are dying, um, but the people who are left behind as well. So end of life care. And then um, going well into old age. I'm not getting any younger. Many of it, well, none of us are getting any younger. Sadly, we're all aging uh, minute by minute. Um, all of us want to live long, healthy and productive lives for as long as we possibly can. So that's the third area. So we're concentrating on those three areas first. Um, and within that, we then want to make sure that the education that's provided, um, the research that's undertaken, the innovations that are delivered, um, the approach to the current workforce, not only the new workforce, and the leadership around the system is all focused on providing good impact for our people in those three key areas. Um, it's going to take a while. This is not a short project. This is a long term academy, um, which I hope that uh, will really put Suffolk and North East Essex on the map, um, both not only the university, but the wider system. So my initial hope is that over the first few years, we will see some real impact in uh, the lifestyle and the outcomes for health for our population. Um, but we are ambitious for the UK and we're ambitious internationally and we would like to make sure we share the things that we learn that work and do well um, beyond Suffolk and North East Essex. I see this as something we can really share, um, certainly across the UK and I would hope more broadly. The same is true for co-production of what we do. Um, we're seeing co-production, as we've already said, as something integral to everything we do. Um, I think we've got some expertise already in co-production, and I have no doubt we'll develop more. We'd like to be able to become a centre for excellence in co-production too, sharing the best ways of um, making sure that co-production is undertaken for everybody's benefit and sharing that more widely. So I think there's, but that's not going to happen overnight. Um, you know, it'll the first year, then the second year, then the fifth year, the tenth year. This is a long-term project, but with some short-term deliverables in between to make sure we're really making a difference. Thank you so much. That's a really full answer. The last thing I just want to ask you is uh, give you an opportunity to, to say something about Foundation Week, which is coming up. Lovely. Yeah. So um, I'm really excited that we've decided not just to do a one off launch for half an hour somewhere, uh, either on the waterfront or like this remotely, um, but take the opportunity to showcase some of what we are doing, what we're thinking about and what's already going on. Because let's not forget there's masses happening already. And this is partly an attempt to bring some of that together as well. So Foundation Week gives everybody, whether you're a professional working in health and social care, you may be a client or a patient, um, you may be a student, uh, you could be working in all walks of life. Come and have a look at what we're planning to do, um, but also come and have a look with a view that says, how do I get involved uh, and what could I offer to the Integrated Care Academy? It's a two-way process. We're not here to, to provide everything for everybody. We're here to coordinate and provide some leadership around integrated care. There's so much going on out there. Come and join the week. It's at the end of May um, and see not only what we're doing, but also look at ways to get involved. It's a two way process. Brilliant.
Thank you so much, Helen. Thanks for your time. And You're thanks for describing welcome. this so well. Very welcome. And uh, looking forward to working together in the future, Andy. Me too. Thank you. Bye. Bye.